Today we take a look at a built-in effect to add a little vintage character to your footage. So a couple weeks back I made a video talking about how to make your footage look similar to 16mm. And since then I came across a new effect that was added to DaVinci that takes out some of the elements that I had to add previously to add uh, a little bit of grunge to the footage. So previously in that tutorial, I overlaid footage to simulate noise, dust, and scratches. With the adoption of Resolve 15, they recently added in a new effect. So let's take a look at it. So if we come over to our color tab and then click up here to open effects, in here we can type in film, uh, damage and then just drag that onto a node and what you'll see is it almost has a similar color that uh, I made a lot for but um, we'll just go down the list here and see all the different things so they have film blur and that's just pretty much taking out the that's just a, a, a typical blur it looks like um, so we'll just leave that at default and then we have temperature shift and tint shift and I'm guessing I don't know if there's anything that's different in here, but I'm guessing that's the same as the tint, the temperature and tint down here. It's just built into the to the damage to, I'm guessing, to just uh, make it a very simple effect to add on. So they work the same way, warm and cool. And then tint is the same, green and magenta. Um, coming down, we have the add dirt, and it's interesting because you can add a color. Um, I don't know what you would change the dirt color to because I feel like it would be kind of weird if you had blue dirt. That looks kind of weird. But who knows, you can always get creative with it, right? Um, if you watch this, it seems like it's just creating it and that is very intense. If your camera is that dirty, you got some problems. Um, so I would probably tur like turn down that density to something that it's like, I even think like that would be a bit much and that's already down at one. Can we do like points here? Can we do like 0.5? No, we can't, so we have to do one. But then we could bring down the size. So you might be able to get something away with that. And then we could also, I'm pretty sure, hmm, maybe not. Okay, so we can add in a blur, and I'm guessing that just blurs out. Yeah, that's just blurring out these pieces here. So I, I might do that, and then the speed of it as well. It's just, okay. So this is looking pretty good. This freaking line here is going wild though. I think that's in scratches. Yeah, that's the scratches. Okay, so that's pretty cool. It's broken into two separate uh, we have the dirt and then we have the scratch. Ooh, scratches have a bunch of settings here. Um, let's get this going and move this around. This is all new to me. I haven't used this before. I was just looking through the manual and I seen it and I was like, oh, you know, I, I recently did a color grade that I added a lot of these similar effects and to just make it, you know, have that vintage feel. So we have adding dirt and adding scratches, and then a vignette that also has a angle. What is that all about? So that's just how intense. Ooh, that's moving that around really. Oh, that's almost like a circle. Okay. All right, so a lot of this stuff you can really just recreate uh, in, a, in a separate node, it's just putting it together. I think that the biggest thing out of this hole is adding the dirt and the scratches, uh, primarily the dirt, the scratches you could recreate, um, but the dirt and it just being in a simple thing like this, instead of having to overlay something and then, you know, having it as a mat. And then we have our uh, blend here. So yeah, that's the that's the new way of adding in a, a vintage feel. It's a bit intense in some spots. I also made a LUT 
um, that went with this. It's just in here. If you want it, you can grab it on my website. The super, oh God, that looks freaking really intense with all of this color stuff. If I put this all to zero, does, it, does this not affect anything then? Okay, yeah, that's looking a bit better, but I would still come in here and um, reduce the gain down a little bit. Oh, they, I didn't notice that before they changed this because that's why I, I was like, what the hell? Um, because this used to be a key before and now it's like a little dude and a window, um, but yeah. But yeah, like I said, that LUT, if you wanted it, is it's on my website. It's just under um, the Super 8 tutorial. But yeah, I'm, I'm kind of digging. I think that line is skipping around a bit too fast for my liking, but I don't know. That could work in some situations. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that, this, that there's this new uh, film damage effect that is in the free Da Vinci. So if you have it in your arsenal of tools, why not use it or at least try it within Da Vinci? Uh, let me know in the comments what you think about this one. If you have any other suggestions that you want to see me do in the future, let me know down there as well. Again, my name's JR and thanks for watching.